Hi, everybody. Joe Reinecker with you. Welcome to today's edition of Resource Central. Our guest today is the Independence Office Coordinator, Skill Office Independence Independence Coordinator, the Skill Office Independence Coordinator, Mary Laskowski. Mary, welcome to Resource Central. Well, thank you, Joe. It's good to be uh, speaking with you. Good, good to have you. Um, recently, you had an advocacy meeting. How did that go, and what was discussed? Well, what we had planned to discuss was uh, the, the different um, um, uh, community-enhancing activities that are happening here in Independence. Um, and in Montgomery County. Uh, we have at this time the Community Mission for Improved Housing, which is helping a lot of people with um, their housing needs. We have Hannah's House, which takes in uh, mothers with children. And we have Home Sweet Home, where men who are homeless go and uh, they actually um, uh, go through a process where their life is started all over again. And the 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 amount of good from from all of this is really is becoming more and more noticeable. How important how important is it to have the adv advocacy meetings every month? It's very important. Uh, they don't all we don't always get the amount of people we would like because of circumstances, but um, we try to share uh, to communicate what's going on in the community. Um, like right now, voting is a very important thing. Uh, we're getting people registered to vote. Uh, we explain why it's important for 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 their voice to be heard, and um, we, you know, we just try to keep people in the know. Do um, do the advocates show up at the meeting, or or do the customers give their views on these things? It's uh, pretty much um, uh, everyone interacts. Uh, if they have questions, they ask questions. If we have a speaker come in, the speaker speaks and explains something that they uh, uh, might want to know. Um, and if there's no speaker, then we just share whatever we know uh, that's new in the community, the changes that are coming or have uh, come. And uh, generally speaking, they know that um, the advocacy meeting is sharing information, knowledge, resources, uh, and each other's love. And you have and you have these every month. How well attended are they? Well, sometimes well, sometimes not. You know, it depends on um, um, who um, you know who can come. Uh, like our picnic, we had over 150 people. But that's the same every year. We have a lot of people come and uh, um, celebrate. Um, uh, that's a celebration of Customers' Day. Did you have any politicians at, at your picnic? Uh, no. And that's something I need to work on because um, I, I am not really a political person. I never was. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but It's important. Yes, it is. It's very important. And uh, I'm beginning to... Uh, uh, um, I started realizing that when we started Community Mission for Improved Housing, because um, a lot of the people in this area that are politicians or business people were very interested. The, the Chamber of Commerce had us speak at their, at their meetings several times. And um, I'm beginning to, to realize that we're just all people, whether we're politicians or we're you know, or we're just the citizens. We're all members of the community, so. When did the community uh, housing program start? Oh, about, uh, it started slowly uh, two years ago. And uh, uh, last year, we did over 25 houses. We fixed something on them, whatever, you know, because they didn't qualify for any of the grants. And uh, this year, I, I think we've done at least 12. But we see we cooperate. Hannah's house needed help. They were opening a new house for the women and children. So our people, our volunteers went and, and put a new roof on and did some other work for them. And then uh, uh, Uppercut uh, Boxing needed help. And the, he, uh, the guy there is doing excellent work with young people who are at mm -hmm. risk. 
and we fixed up a, an old uh, a, a washing machine or you know where you just a laundry machine a house into a beautiful very nice uh, place where they can learn boxing further their education and uh, do a lot of other good things so if I'm in independence and my house need and my house needs a little work I could talk to you and possibly get you to do possibly get you to fix something in my house okay first of all I would see if you qualify for any of the grants from USDA or, mm -hmm. or any other help like weatherization or whatever then I would uh, if you didn't then I would um, have you put an application for community mission and the way community mission works is we do not have the kind of strict guidelines that USDA has what we do is we meet one-on-one -on -one with the person we evaluate their situation if they can contribute anything to the repair they do if they cannot then we have volunteers and we have various uh, businesses like wood lumber um, uh, contributes materials and and um, they actually have uh, people uh, donating to um, community mission when they come to buy stuff there. So, what does what does USDA USDA stand for in this case? United States Agricultural Department. That's oh, federal, yeah, that's a federal grant that gives seven thousand five hundred to those sixty-two uh, and older who are at a certain income bracket. So it's the old, the old USDA. Yeah. In about three weeks, we will be electing a new president. How has the voting process, the uh, the the voting process, the registering for voting, uh, gone in your area so far? Uh, surprisingly, very well. Uh, when we had our picnic, we also had people do a survey of their you know because we, we told them we want to know what your needs are what your concerns are and then we asked them would you please register to vote 60 percent of the people who came through the doors already were registered are you gonna are you gonna have uh, a program whereby you take your consumers to the polls or just how we're, is that gonna work we're working on that. If someone really doesn't have a ride, we're going to see if there's any, anything we could do. Gary, the mayor here in uh, um, Independence, uh, I'm going to be talking with him about some kind of plan where we can get some people that cannot. But a lot of people have ride in uh, uh, um, voting because they, they're, they're homebound. So, when's the last when's the last day you can uh, register in Independence? October eighth. So it, October the eighth. So it's one one month to the one month till the election. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They, you know, the, the people are becoming more alert and more aware of their need to participate in their community in order to um, really uh, live fuller and better lives. Do and you do you ever see a situation where? Um, where the people with disabilities won't vote or there I've only come across two or three that just refuse and um, you know if they refuse they refuse you can't force them what but kind well, of reasons do they have to or or do they tell you well the biggest thing is the biggest cop-out uh, my vote doesn't matter they're they're all crooks and they're gonna do what they want <laughs> <laughs> well, we all feel that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sometimes. I'm, I know. I believe we can make things better. I believe yeah. that. Because this is America, after all. And this I is do one too. of the biggest. I do too. But sometimes sometimes we get so frustrated with it, we, we feel that way sometimes. I know. I know. But that frustration has to go away because it, it just brings people down. We need to, you know step up and 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 do what we can in our own little ways to make things better and voting is one of them have you got your next advocacy meeting uh, figured out as as who's going to be there etc cetera, etc cetera? Um, i i think what we're going to do because there's three of us in this office and um we're going to share the responsibility um they're going to one of the three is going to do a thing on uh, the uh, Medicare Part D, 
what what it, what it's all about, what what they can expect, what they uh, you know what they can and cannot do. So we're we're trying to get a speaker for that, and um, Social Security doesn't have anyone, so we'll have to find somebody else. <laughs> do you have um, nuts and bolts for what um, Medicare Part D is? Uh, like I said, I, I'm not going to be doing that one. Uh, one of the other uh, employees okay. is going to be doing that one. So, okay. But I, I have a general idea because I have it myself. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk about it a little bit. Okay. So, um, what is what is it? Part, well, the, part D. Part D is to help pay for your med medications. Uh, A A R P. Um, and then there's the, I mean, there's a ton of them out there mm -hmm. uh, that that sure. uh, you can shine, sign up with, and uh, what happens is uh, you don't pay as much for your medication as you would if you didn't if you didn't have uh, Part D. Basically, that's that's a general uh, um, idea. What else has been going on in in uh, beautiful Independence? Oh, I'll tell you something in in a, in a short brief statement. While the world is being traumatized by hate and fear, terrorism, and a lot of baloney at times, this little town is spreading love all over the place. Uh, the example, Community National Bank. They heard about mm -hmm. Community Mission for Improved Housing. They set up a three-month fundraiser to raise money for the, the mission, um, they um, and they also offered to give a hundred dollars for every contract or every loan that they signed got signed. Wow! And yeah, yeah, it, it's it's uh, and you know it's just taking off like wildfire, and everybody is uh, everybody knows about it. And everybody, this world it. would be this world would be a heck of a lot better off if we showed a little more love. That's right. That's the only solution. There is no other solution to the to all that. The guns and 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 fighting and and arguing it doesn't solve anything. Uh, love heals everything. Our guest on today's Resource Central has been the Independence Coordinator, Mary Laskowski. Mary, thanks for being on Resource Central, and, and have a great day. Well, thank you. It's been a privilege. <laughs>